and welcome to a new vlog and trip report and today we are traveling on the so-called Rechte Rheinstrecke, the East Rhine Railway from Koblenz to Bad Honnef and here on the map you can see our route today. It is a new route for me, at least a part of it, as we are going past Koblenz Ehrenbreitstein. Therefore we have to use the regional train from Koblenz to Bad Honnef, there's also a regional express but that one is not going via Koblenz Ehrenbreitstein. We have to go to platform 109 today and here we can take a look of the so-called Kuichi arriving. And here we can see our train class 425, nickname Quichi, that would translate to squeaky if you would translate it word by word. And that's because of the squeaking noises that this train is making in operation. And of course we will hear that sound pretty soon. But before that let's take a look at the interior, which is not too good even though this train has been refurbished. Seats are still quite upright, a bit better than in the original version. And we have power circuits, but unfortunately that is it. So here you already heard the distinctive noise of this train type, quite loud train but it has a nice and interesting sound so I do like the train for the sound but I do not like the interior of the train. Here we are crossing the river Rhine, going to the right side of the Rhine, the East Rhine side, crossing the East Rhine railway. Now we have to go through a pretty new and modernized tunnel. To get to that railway line and then we are following the river Rhine all the way to Bad Honnef. And here we are on the railway line and this is already the new part for me. Most trains are using the other side as they have to go to the main station of Koblenz. Here in the background you just saw the castle Ehrenbreitstein which is also giving the name to this part of Koblenz and also the station which we are approaching now. From here you could take a ferry to the city center of Koblenz or a cable car but the cable car is running from the top of the mountain from the castle Ehrenbreitstein. Here we can see the so-called Deutsche Eck, the German corner, where the river Mosel is flowing into the river Rhine. We are now following the Rhine in a quite nice landscape. This railway line is almost always very close to the riverside, so that's very, very beautiful. In my opinion, from Koblenz heading north, this part is even more beautiful than the West Rhine Railway, which is considered to be a bit more beautiful in general. Here we can see the island Niederwert. whilst we are approaching the city of Fallender. Here we can see some ships docked in the port that are usually used in the summer season from Koblenz. And now we are still following the wonderful river Rhine. And now I can tell you a bit more about why I'm not the biggest fan of the class 425. Here we can see the interior again. As I said, it is already a modernized interior, so the seats are slightly better. In the original version they are less padded and more upright. They almost have a 90 degree angle and they are very hard. Here they are still pretty hard and uncomfortable but acceptable. But still, this train is going all the way from Koblenz to Mönchengladbach, which is very long, takes multiple hours. If you stay multiple hours on that seat, you will have a lot of back pain in the end of the day.
Here we just heard the sound of the class 425 again. So as I said, not the most comfortable train. It is quite okay for the short stretch that we were on today, but on the long stretch of the whole line, it's too uncomfortable in those seats. There are quite a few versions where the seats have been replaced by a more comfortable model. And then I do like this train actually quite a lot because of its unique sound. But with this rather uncomfortable seats, it's not my favorite train. If you just want to see this part of the railway line, you can use the RE8, which is a bit more comfortable because it's using different trains, but the RE8 is going from Koblenz to Neuwied directly without going to Koblenz Ehrenbreitstein, so we will miss that part of the railway line. But also the rest of the railway line is very nice and interesting, very beautiful. There's a lot to see on both sides. Actually, not only on the left side where you can see the river, but also on the right side where you can see several castles. So also that side is quite interesting and beautiful. Here we can take another look at the interior of the class 425. As I said, in the version that we are on right now, slightly better than the original version, but still not too comfortable. Here we are passing the city of Linz, of course Linz at the Rhine, there's also Linz at the Danube, but that's a different city that we've seen a few videos ago when I was there with the Riverside Mozart. Here we are in Linz at the Rhine. After that we are driving past the bridge of Remagen, the famous bridge of Remagen, which we can see here. Of course only the remains of the bridge of Remagen. And soon after we are approaching our final stop today at Honnef from where I will take another connection on, which will be the topic of the next video. Here we are, approaching Bad Honnef, I'm leaving the train, and now we can listen to the sound of this train again. And that's already it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you. Here you can see when the next video will be uploaded in the name of the song. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to comment and share the video link. And if you want to see more videos like that, please follow and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video then. 